What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's giveaway right here to another episode of World of Warcraft. Classic. Now I'll do it. As everyone doing. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Right. So it's been a couple of days since I managed to play on this character. I now have a few days off in a row, so we're going to get back to it. A couple of things that I need to address, which have been popping up in the comments. Um, I've tried to figure out why you can't see my cursor. Uh, like you can see me highlighting things with the cursor, but you actually can't see it itself. No fucking idea. Um, some of you were saying I need to take a box in my recording software that allows me to display cursor. It's not an option in shadow play. It never has been. Um, so that's not what's causing the issue. Now what I've noticed is that this game, despite the fact that it's full windowed, I'm not able to minimize it. And I think in previous games where this has occurred, the cursor hasn't displayed. Another thing, which isn't the case at this time, because I've already disabled it to see if that was causing it, is that the uh, Discord overlay that tends to pop up in these games uh, was causing trouble with my uh, recordings on Shadowplay previously. But that has been resolved since, and it's not active at the moment, so that's not the issue either. So, having a fucking clue to be out straight with you, uh, and it's not looking like something I can resolve really for the time being. Um, sorry about you if you guys find that frustrating, but it is what it is. It's here. I can see it. Um, it's just not going to be recorded. Such is life. You know, I guess I just have to use more hotkeys. Uh, and what was the other thing? I, I guess like you, there was comments about like mining multiple times from the nodes and all, but that happens later in the episode in which the comments occurred on, so I guess that question's already been answered for you, or I figured it out in the episode itself, which is even better again. But thanks for the feedback, folks. Thanks for the feedback. Yes. I done a little bit of first aid just while I was getting ready for this episode. We're going to hand in our encroachment quest. And I'm just going to have a quick look to see where we're at. So we have to go to Orgrimmar to hand in that quest. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you know what? I think we're going to go to Orgrimmar first because Fizzle is difficult from what I remember, especially for a melee class. I've tweaked my doodaddy here just a little bit, the chat windows, in order to just make it a bit more convenient for um, me to read. I had done that on my alt. I didn't realize I hadn't done it on this character just yet. We're going to steam on our way to Orgrimmar anyway. We're going to have a chat with Nazgrel. Yeah, Nazgrel. There we go. We're gonna have a chat with this lad, hand him the orders and do whatever, and we're gonna start getting bounced around. On the way through, we are going to encounter uh, some goblins from memory and a caravan that has been uh, waylaid on the way through this cavern by some harpies who we're then gonna fuck up for a wee while. Uh, we have a ton of rest XP, which is a nice thing about sitting in the, uh, sitting in the old uh, inn. Now, there you go, there's your... Uh, up our vein up there. We're not going to be able to reach that fellow, unfortunately. And I'm not going to go out in your way to do it either. Um, so here's this caravan that's after getting smashed up. Uh, I'm playing on a very off-peak hour. It's a Monday morning. It is, well, it's nearly Monday afternoon. It's half 11 here. Um, so the server time, every other time I've tried to log in, any evening time or on the weekend, it's either full or high. <laughs> so... I'm reckoning now my character's probably a fair bit behind the curve here now at the minute. And I'm going to have a much easier time of tagging a few things and getting a few bits done. Because most other people are in their 20s, their 30s, they're in the Barrens, they're in Ashenvale, they're in all these other fucking places. They're not near me. So I should be able to take advantage of this now and get some good work done on my character. Uh, at least ever so slightly easier. The flip side to this, of course, is that for the likes of harder quests where you might have wanted an extra body or two... I'm not going to have that, but we'll manage, we'll manage. Um, we're going to want these, and we're going to hang on to them. So now we got like two options for healing here. So let's go get five sacks of supplies, and then he's probably going to ask me to start killing a few of these harpies. Again, we're going to kill absolutely fucking everything we come across uh, in order to continue generating income for the character with shit that we can just vendor or possibly sell. Uh, we're going to pickpocket absolutely every fucker going. And we're gonna keep on doing that. So these supplies on launch day were almost impossible to get a hold of. Almost. 
I camped this one and the ones that spawn here, and I just did those two, and I got it done straight away. I have been playing, I just haven't been playing on this character, I've been playing on an alt, which I am leveling um, off camera. Um, the reason being is that it gives me, oh, oh, we have a rend on us, ah, oh, well, rip. We can just pull, no, we're gonna wait, I want to get the pickpocket, it's an extra few copper and it will add up. Um, the reason being is, is that, like, I can't talk late at night in the apartment and stuff like that. I can't come on at, like, 9 or 10 o'clock in the evening and start roaring at the fucking computer, because, uh, it's just not fair uh, on the people I live with or the people who are in the area. Now, this is about to start getting spicy. This is, we're gonna pop evasion early. I wish I had blind. We're gonna pop berserking as well. If I get this one dead, then we should be okay. Let's go for an early abyss, right? All right, I reckon we're fine. And we just keep on smashing the keyboard here. We need to get a fucking talent point into this sinister strike. I keep thinking it's 40 energy, but it's not. That should run away and we're fine. And that is the power of evasion right there. Evasion tanking OP. Right, let's grab these. We'll get our first talent point now, and it will absolutely be going into reducing the fucking energy cost of Sinister Strike, 100%. But I do thank you guys for these comments. I always find it, oh lie, it is irking when you get a comment which is resolved in the episode. Like, I, I know you guys are probably typing the comments as you see something, and I'm like, oh, how the fuck do I do this? But then when I figure it out later on in the episode, it is, it's ever so slightly tilting. That doesn't mean you shouldn't do that shit, because... I may not necessarily figure it out, and I wouldn't want to discourage you or dissuade you, but I'm just saying, it is, it's definitely a fucking pig. Honesty is the best, oh, there's a chest, honesty is the best policy and all that bullshit that goes with it. I done a run through Wailing Caverns last night, and we had a guy that had no idea about rolling for chests. And I explained it to him, and then I, once I explained it to him, the other people in the group proceeded to immediately stop rolling for chests, because... They were like, fuck that guy, he ninja that chest. It's like, no, dude, he just didn't know. <laughs> and once he explained to him, he was perfectly polite about it and fair. It's just funny how people get a little bit triggered. They expect absolutely everybody to have perfect game knowledge with regard to etiquette and how to deal with scenarios that present themselves when in a group. It's funny. It's funny. I remember when I originally played this game that, you know, when it comes up greed or need, like the option to roll on an item, I used to think that the dice was the, the greed button, like as in, like you're greedy, so you, you're rolling the dice rather than the money. I, I have no idea why. I mean, I, I done that for like a week. Remember when you get like a 14 day trial account <laughs> for like, <laughs> I think it was like two euro or something like that. You could get like a trial uh for 14 days or something and that happened and yeah i, I got shouted at <laughs> oh man fun times fun times not for the people i was escaping with obviously <laughs> okay small lustrous pearl nice here's an old iron deposit which we will gladly take yeah so I don't know what the prices are like with regard to uh, copper and stuff like that. Now, did I say iron deposit? Uh, I don't know what the prices are like with regard to copper and stuff like that now for the moment. Hey, shadow gem, nice. Um, probably not going to be that great. And we're probably not going to be seeing great dividends from this until we kind of get into the mid game, so to speak. So when we get into like level 30-ish. And we start mining other types of resources. Because then the people who aren't interested in doing all the gathery shit. And they just want to do the crafty shit. Start buying all this stuff. Or people that went with gatherer professions. And then changed over into the one that they actually want to level. Uh, will start buying all these resources en masse off of the auction house. And that's typically how these things tend to go. I'm fascinated with making gold on this game. I, I've always just found it very satisfying to fucking do. Uh, I have no idea why. I just do. I really like it. I got my fucking 
Other the Rogue series, like, geez, I think I had about 4k gold by the end of it. <laughs> I'm not spending it on shit, you know what I mean? Like, it was just fucking, why not? This is fun to farm it, like. Uh, and there's, like, loads of different ways you can do it. And I'm actually interested in possibly making a video with regard to how to make gold. I think that could potentially be of interest to some of you. I know most people have a good idea in their head about how... They want to go about it. Now tell me this. How are we in terms of... Oh, now you see. We're getting a bit... We're getting a bit tight on the old spas here now. But I reckon we can just... Bash this one out and we'll be alright. We might get sweaty and get a bag drop. I've actually been quite unlucky on this character with regard to bags. Like my other character, I was full sixes by... This level, with the exception of this bag then. But that character is a tailor, and I then proceeded to make myself a six slaughter, which replaced that four slaughter anyway. Funny that. <laughs> I don't know, it just seemed to have been really unfortunate, but I, I, I read some comments which some of you guys were saying, like, oh no, man, like, they've tweaked drops and stuff on private servers. They absolutely did tweak the drop rates of a variety of different items on private servers. Like, some items, there was only a couple of percent in the difference. Um, certain quest items, I think, they tweaked and stuff like that as well, but then certain, like, do you remember the, uh, what was this, up here in Winter Spring, that's what it was, do you remember the fire pot, no, what were they called, the, um, the Fearbogs, um, Timber Maw or something like that, whatever those guys were called, they had like a, a potion that, was worth a lot in terms of the amount of it was like a, an end game raid buff that you can farm and they dropped them not overly regularly i think there's like a one in ten rate uh, of dropping them and then the uh fire water i think they were called and the the boss guy in that area has a higher rate of dropping them then as well so I think in the original game, like the rates were ever so slightly different from the rates that were on the private server that I played on. Um, I'm not 100% about that. No, I am 100% about that, but I'm not 100% about the exact differences in between them. So you're absolutely correct in that regard. But um, I don't think it's a statistic thing here that I'm getting shafted and not getting bags. I think it's just pure misfortune. <laughs> um... Bags are a fairly, like six slaughters and stuff like that, I feel, are a fairly common thing in the lower levels. Um, I think the game is designed to kind of eventually give you what you need in order to be able to play uh, properly. I think. I'm absolutely okay with being wrong about that as well. <laughs> uh, sure, look. This is, uh, we're, there's going to be some casters in here now in a second. And, oh, ding, nice. Oh, talent point. Mmm, straight into Sinister Strike. <laughs> now, we could do an improved gouge rather than the dodge as well. We'll want the reduced cost Sinister Strike, no matter what. That's a, that's a no-brainer. But I think then we'll go into improved gouge. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't get my fucking thing off. Feels bad, man. Feels fucking real bad. Get a gouge onto this biatch. Get some energy back. Now we're up to full combo points. Eviscerate. Boom. They do run away in fear, which is nice. They are humanoids. So we're going to be getting that wee benefit. Now, just as I quickly look, what type of food have I got with me? We've got these guys. And then we've got Diddly Squat. So we do have bandages, I suppose. We're gonna have to get some cooking secured. Hmm. This might be hard. Now we've got fairly fast regen because we're still fairly low level, but come on, just give me the gold. Turn, bitch, turn, turn. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Back up. I'm backing up. I know it's a DPS loss, but I'm I just don't want to pull two of them. These are higher level than the other ones out there. Um that could be bad news bears for myself. There we go. I'm ready for our uh, this great 
They say they're wrong. You can't prove it. None of you can prove it. All right, we'll keep. Oh, we'll go this way because there's a couple of caches here. We have to be careful about these fuckers up here as well. I saw a few people go down because of them in the early stages of the launch. We're not going to go for the backstab. It's just a bit too much sweat. And we're going to walk them out. We'll take the extra damage. It's, it's absolutely fine. It means we're just not going to pull one of these. Um, you know. Now, for those of you who don't understand what I'm doing here, when I do that little gouge maneuver there... Oh, nice. Triple digits. Uh, when I do that little gouge maneuver, I'm just attempting to get enough energy ticks to get another move to build up my combo points so that way I can hit the mob with a larger eviscerate and reduce the incoming damage that I'm suffering in the meantime while I'm trying to generate that uh, income. I'm actually going to eat one of these and just try and get the, the stamina buff off of it as well. Um, I think it can be quite useful for the time being. If we get sweaty and get a bag, that would be class, but I don't know, I'm not overly optimistic about that transpiring. Um, we'll just keep working our way through here. I like the auto on the big pocket of the won't lie. It definitely, uh, it means even if you, you make an absolute bollocks of the fucking situation, you're still gonna get your big pocket off. The sound of that was all over the place. Like, it sounded like I pulled mobs up here or something like that in my ears. Okay. Now, we might do line of sight pull here. I think it'll be the easiest thing. Now, you can shoot me through this, can you? Yes, you can. I don't understand. There's a big rock in the way, please. We're just gonna run this one out. Hmm. I'm not certain how that was able to get line of sight on me there. We're not going to be able to do a ranged pull on this. No, we can, but we're just going to have to use the wall over on the far side. I don't think I can get an angle here. Like, mm, no, I think you'll be able to shoot me through the floor there. That is remarkable uh, that that doesn't count. Um, I'm a little bit exacerbated by it. There's no way. There's no way. Like, there's literally no way you have an angle there. That is utter bullshit. Fix your fucking game and your spaghetti code there, Blizz. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what to... I don't do... No, man. Okay. Technically, I'm still in combat here. Don't know why. What's that growth? Has it? Is it because? Yeah, I don't know. It's because I right clicked it. Another it wasn't able to cancel the auto attack. It's just hit T there, and I think we would have been okay. He's gonna pull one here, and then I can pull the other, and that's how we'll do it. They might pull two. No, right. Just chill. We're gonna go back, and we're just gonna start mining. Unfortunate. We'll get this locked down. And then we'll continue steaming on. I'm a bit exacerbated by how that didn't line a side pull. Especially this item here in front of us now as well. Now, I remember reading something about that on private servers that they had tweaked it. And maybe it's the case that in original vanilla this wasn't a thing. Um, I'm open the correction on that. It was a while ago. So you see, these are, because I can't line the side pole properly, like this is an extraordinarily difficult situation now for myself, when it really shouldn't be. Um, we might be a bit of a sweaty cunt here and try and secure this chest. <laughs> and start deleting some crapola that we do not need. Oh, they're doing that one up there. Right, okay. Now we are going to be a sweaty gee bag here now in a minute. What have I got on? Oh, these are actually, okay. Well, fuck. I feel when the gray is better than the fucking item that you've got on. Is this lad going for it here? No, I don't think he is. 
See, I can't fuck with this. Yeah, they are there. They're just doing a mana break. Oh, don't, don't, don't do it. Mm -mm. So they're going to pull that one, which is also going to pull this one. Maybe. Yeah. This bitch is pulled. I oh, know, I just take the chest. Easy. Oh, but it won't let me because I'm in combat. But we just chill. We just chill. We get it. We're going to be the first ones to be stepping on it. It's a battered chest, though, so it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world. It's probably going to be a lot of bollocks, but if there's a couple of potions in it, that'd be neat. Oh, the fucking... The Void minion died. Void walker, whatever you call him. Should be dead soon. And that's mine. I think he's trying to, like, loot that shit as if he's going to get any of it. Yeah, no, let's look there, buddy. We'll be able to vendor that for a fair few bob. Nice. Scumbag rogue things. That's how I like it. Um, the storm witches are going to be a problem. Because I can't line a side pull them. And, and I'm not understanding what the fucking deal is here. That's It's frustrating. Um, we'll have to figure it out. We'll have to figure something out here. Um, stealth up to them and just try and not pull the surrounding mobs. You see, that's what I'm afraid of pulling, like, four or five of them in a one go. And uh, make an absolute shite myself. We don't have, like, CC moves yet. Well, I suppose I'm level 10. I'm gonna have extra moves now in a second. Just to fucking pull this out. We'll be able to get this one because there's a significant range there. That's okay. That should be safe enough. This is going to be tricky, and this is where playing a melee class starts to become difficult. When you start getting close to a mobs like this, you don't have all of your various different moves for CC as of yet. You know, you, you can't do all of the great and glorious stuff that your class is capable of doing later on. In the... Not sure what I'm there. Um, you're not able to do all the stuff that you're able to do. Wait till he goes for this cast. Do it now. Right, so we were waiting right till the end of the cast there to try and max out the time that we got of him not doing anything to us. <laughs> if you can understand what I was doing there. So he did a... No, I'm not really pushed on getting that. Oh, God. Tricky. Very tricky. But we're actually... This is looking a bit easier for us. They're not as condensed as they were over here. I want to watch that guy. I don't want that guy to make his way over here. I might range to pull to me this one. No, we're on it. And again, we're just going to pull him back. Just air on the side of fucking caution. We need to be making a certain amount of fucking headway in terms of time as well. Oh, for fuck. He's going to get the cast right here now. I won't be getting it. Oh, whatever. It's whatever. It's fine. I suppose I whipped the chest in front of him. I was fair in... Fucking and dicken. I don't know. That sentence made more sense in my head. I'm gonna skip this melee one. I'm just gonna go straight on for this caster here in the background. Like, I'm nearly done on the melees. It's the casters, the storm witches that I'm particularly interested in getting easy snipes on. There's another chest over here as well. Uh, we might just take that from one of this fella's nose just by way of revenge. Yeah, the, the casters are a bit more spread out here. This is a bit easier now in terms of management. We'll just get a nice early gouge in. Step off a wee bit. Get another one of these in. And again, we're just trying to interrupt his cast times. That's all we're doing. And we're up to full combo points. Let's get a big old eviscerate off on him. Oh, we won't get the chest. And he dinged. But I will get this caster. We're pulling it just to get the tag on it. And nice. He actually cast a fireball on it then as well. Which meant that we got a bit of free deeps. The things you need to do to be a sweaty rock. <laughs> we just have to be so careful about multiple pulls. 
You have to be so careful about getting multiple mobs tagged. Now you see here is a prime example of the bullshit that we might have to deal with. If I pull this one, I'm probably going to pull that one. And because I don't really seem to have any way of line of sight pulling, because the line of sight pulls I've attempted to do here, they seem to be able to keep getting lines on me through the terrain. I think we're just going to have to chance our arm here. If we just stay max range here with this, we might... Ah, uh, I mistimed that, I thought. I'm going to get another couple of auto attacks in. We should, yeah, I don't think these are... I've been realizing that there's actually more mobs here. Other than that, they've actually already finished their quest. Interesting. I see the copper ore there as well. We're definitely going to take advantage of that. Okay. It's all about being just nice, slow, methodical, and just kind of picking, picking the packs apart in a way that doesn't get you absolutely fucking shit on. Just taking your time, right? I, I didn't actually do any gouges there. I've just been spamming Sinister Strike on auto fucking mode there in my mind. So we want that, because it'll vendor for quite a significant amount. Didn't guarantee it. We'll get rid of the Ruffle the Fetter, and we'll take this instead. Grey items vendor for a fucking ton. Like, they're actually really worth fucking getting when you can. Uh, hanging on to them. They sell for a lot. Obviously not at this lower level, maybe, but... It'll sell for more than that other fucking thing. You can get add-ons that tell you exactly how much shit sells for, as well. Just FYI. Uh, rather than, like, guesstimating like I am here now at the moment. It's not gonna make a massive difference initially, but... Uh, like, she'll run out of mana and then she'll have to come down and auto attack me. So let's just soak it up. There we go. Got the gouge in. And again, same thing. Trying to time out that attack so that way there's a massive amount of time when they're casting the attack but not actually doing damage to me and that's what i mean about trying to time it just right um that's that's the logic of what i'm trying to apply in there while they're casting the spell they're not actually auto attacking and they're not doing damage so they're doing nothing so if you can stun them right at the end of the cast or use your kick right at the end of the cast you have maximized the downtime of them doing no damage to you <laughs> or the uptime of them doing no damage to you rather um, which means that they've put out absolutely no damage with all this fucking cast time and you're happy as shite. And then you just shaft at them right in the end and they don't get their damage off after spending all this time channeling whatever move that it is that you're channeling. How to fuck with casters, one on one. <laughs> Eventually we'll be able to put points into our kick. So that way it actually applies like a second or two silence as well uh, Which is going to be game changing So it will We'll do a bit of first aid just while we're chilling and wait for these guys to start respawning here I might just pull these down And just soak up the damage like we did there Now We'll do this till we have a full stack and then We'll relax now these are about to start respawning. No. Did that not fit? It did. Yeah. We'll just pull these down. One at a time. And we're just gonna continue throwing at them. We'll level up our throwing. We'll we'll soak up a bit of damage. So oh, gee. It's not the best way of approaching this, but I, it seems to be my only option with regard to... No, I'm, I'm nearly done this. But thanks for the offer. There's no point in me accepting a, a group for this. It's going to reduce my drops and XP. Now, how do I get this Warren Hatchet into my inventory and do I bother getting rid of something for it? See, this is only going to sell for a silver and I feel like that's going to sell for more. The old Malachite and stuff like that ain't going for a whole lot, but uh, we'll try this. My health regen is kind of quick. 
I reckon that's a fair choice. We're gonna pull this guy out range, so that way then we can get this dude. And then we'll just run up on this guy. Oh, but I guess he's gonna get this dude. It's fine. It's fine. Just range problems. Or just melee problems. I am... So, like, in terms of gear now and stuff like that, Ragefire Chasm is going to be coming up now shortly. That's going to be our next target. So this guy is killing this. I'm going to pickpocket it anyway. You can pickpocket mobs in combat and get an extra something something out of them, yeah. We get this storm, which and then we'll start heading as if we're about to leave the area. And we'll start heading as if we're about to leave the area. And just to So at the end of this one. And we get our gouge off. So all that time spent channeling, no damage coming in, and then you stun them right at the end. Rather than interrupting it immediately. You allow them to get the channel off, and it basically adds a few seconds onto the downtime of them doing absolutely no damage. I, I'm trying to make this make sense for people that might not necessarily understand what I mean. I know most people that have played this game know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, we well, shut the fuck up. Like, I get you. I'm like, yeah, I know, but <laughs> have to convey the maximization of your HP in combat to the people that don't. Oh, no, this is going to be tricky. This food ain't that great. Like, you get the two stamina from it, but now it's just taking up room. <sighs> See, the bracers might not be that good either. The leather trousers. We gotta make a choice. We're making that choice. It may not have been the right choice. Some of you might be a bit like, give away the fuck you do that, you fucking moron. And, you know, I respect it. I respect it. But it's a choice that I made, and you're gonna have to live with it. <laughs> Be grand. Not sure if we got what we did. So again, I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit. Get our gouge off. Okay. So once we hand in this quest, I believe our next protocol is gonna be Orgrimmar. We're going to have to get new moves on our rogue now as well. Because we've leveled up onto an, e an even number. So I think you get moves on your even numbers. I think. Uh, there's probably some exceptions and some quests that might come in on odd number levels. But sure, look. How are we in terms of gold? Right, we're on 30 silver. We can check the market and see what the prices are like on bags. I reckon they're going to be extraordinarily underpriced at the moment. Just based off of the market being flooded with people trying to make a couple of quid while they're leveling. Um, potentially. Uh, what a lot of people do when they're trying to level tailoring is offer to make people bags um, for the mats. So you supply the linen and I'll make you the bag. Uh, I won't charge you sweet fuck all, but they get a level of tailoring out of on the free essentially. Just for the sake of advertising it and actually going through the bother of crafting it um, I ain't about that life <laughs> there we go now we wonder can I just run it out here oh there might be another one in here oh there is and we just have to take advantage of all of these uh, mines while we can how's my oh mother Fucking dude, get rid of the rough stone, take the copper, but then we're gonna get more rough stone now, so that was ultimately pointless exercise. Hmm. Get rid of the leggings. There we go. Now we're burning diesel. So, not the most efficient, but sure look. <laughs> it ain't always going to be. I'm not too sure what moves we get next. It might be sap. And if we've gotten sap, it's going to make dealing with big packs like this a whole lot easier. Um, sap in vanilla puts you out of stealth unless you put talent points into it. Just FYI. Just to keep that in your mind. It ain't super tasty or useful necessary. Well, it is useful, but no, we're going to take this angle here. We'll walk into the wall. 
reduce the amount of mobs that we're gonna have to swing an arc through then. Yeah, well, look, we were always gonna pull you. Oh no, that changes the game. We might have to actually kill this one. Yeah. Get the gouge off, get him behind so they can't dodge. Start doing it again. Walk it out a little bit because this guy is gonna pull. We can pop a pot if we need to. And we're fine. Juicy! And we're already halfway to leveling up again. Um Yeah. That worked out okay. I, I don't think he gives me... I think he just gives me silver. I don't think he gives me items. We can get rid of some... No, he does give me items. Oh, that sucks. I think we get... Um, oh. I think we get dual wield. Shortly now as well. What am I going to get rid of? The fucking bracers, I guess. Jesus Christ. And we're going to have to get sword spec. And I don't know if I get sword spec here or if I get it in Undercity. Or I don't think I'd get it in Thunder Bluff. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get into Orgrimmar anyway. I'm going to have a cup of tea. And then I'm going to start recording the next episode. Try to wake up a little bit more. I may not be as bubbly and jubbly as you might want me to be in this episode. Like, give me your thoughts with regards to... I know, I think I've mentioned it previously about making like a gold making video. But I, I think it could be something. It's something that interests me. So I, I would put effort into it. And it might be good. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts with regards to that. Okay. I reckon we'll wrap it up this wrapping up. We'll do a wrap and we're wrapping it up. No, I don't know. Uh, we'll wrap this episode up here. That blimp brings you to the other continent, the Eastern Kingdom. So it'll go and then you land over here somewhere. And you're right next to the inner city. So it kind of links the two factions together quite efficiently. Um, the Alliance of something similar, uh, the Deep Water Tram or the Owner, whatever the fuck it's called, um, which basically acts as the same thing. And then there's ships located in several towns as well that kind of link all the various different places together too. So what we'll do is, is we will vendor the shite that we have on us, free up a wee bit of space. And then we will go from there, so boom. Okay, that wasn't the greatest. I suppose it's level two. Can't really say much for it. And the same with that. Keep this. These vendor for 50 copper and a stack of them is going to be, what, 40? So just keep that in mind, I guess. And we'll go over and we'll check the auction house and we'll see what the score is on selling this ship. We'll wrap this up for now. When we come back, we'll be handing our quest into Nazgrel. This has been Giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like down below. Possibly just subscribe to the channel. If you have any other comments, which concerns about anything that happened in this video, leave it down below in the comment section. We'll come back as soon as you can. Take your handy. Bye bye.